Yo, what is up guys? It's your Robotrix here. Back we yet another banger. We got some more pit free power ups to the top right. In today's video, if you guys are new to the channel or are a recent viewer of mine, please consider clicking that subscribe button because only a small percentage of you guys are actually subscribed. And remember, subscribing is 100% free and you can always change your mind at the end of the day. You always lose. It's going to beat our first opponent. That's not going to be the case for today's video, buddy. All right, I've got a legendary strategy to show y'all. I mean, technically, you guys have already seen it, but we're going to actually go late game with that strategy, okay? And you guys should know what I'm talking about. Swan Lake, though, is not going to be the map. It's not going to be a good map for the strategy, so we're going to skip that. Please be a little bit better. Industrial Zone is horrible. Please skip that. Okay, ended up skipping it. We got the map Frozen River, and honestly, dude, I'm down, I guess, okay? 100%, and the strategy that I've been talking about is going to be Engineer, Village, and then finally, the Spike Factory. Let's get it. So our first bomb power tower is, in fact, going to be the Engineer, right? I, I guess we're going to have it right here. I don't know, man. I don't know a good starting position for this tower, to be honest with y'all, because the AI balloons come out of this side, and then the balloons sent from our opponent are going to be coming out of the left side. So, like... I don't know. It gets tricky at times, okay? And I want my engineer to be able to pop the balloons uh, somewhat before they get all the way towards the back of the map, you know? Hopefully that makes sense, but I guess we're just going to be starting off with that position because, like, we're not technically fully anti-stalling because we're not popping all the balloons right as they come out the map because our engineer is missing some here and there. Uh, but it looks like you always lose to starting off with the dart as his first pod power tower. And on top of that, he's going to be farming. He already did upgrade to the triple dart monkey as well. Oh my god, he went for a range boost? what oh my he definitely did not need to boost that i'm not sure what he was thinking all right but he did send me a few balloons so i did go for the one one engineer that should allow us to be able to fully defend against potential space pinks here on round four but still no signs of aggression from the young man with any sort of space pinks we're gonna be using our first super eco boost at the start of round five and by the way we do have the damage boost in case you always lose has a broken power combination okay but he has revealed one power within his strategy and that is a tower boost in most likely, he's not going with the broken power combination, okay? Because most of the time when people do have tower boost, they don't have like the quick shot or the team tower stun alongside of that, if that makes sense, okay? But we're at over 400 eco for round six. That's pretty solid for sure. He could be aggressive here though on this round. He went for two spike bolts? What? No way, guys. Oh my, I like that top spike bolt spot. I don't think he needs the other one, but... I'm definitely not complaining. He's definitely putting just a little bit too much money into his defenses, in my opinion, okay? But we did use our second super eco boost, okay? Maybe we're anti selling a little bit more than I anticipated, okay? Because these rounds are absolutely flying by. Normally, I would have hit 600 eco by now, okay? So, kind of awkward, not going to lie, right? But we're probably going to stop ecoing here at 614 eco. It's not terrible, but... I don't know. Maybe we should have used a different starting position. That is A-OK, -okay, though. We're going to start saving up our money, obviously, for these mid-game rounds, OK? And I'm going to try to go for a village before I end up actually going for my balloon trap on my next engineer, OK? Because, obviously, if we have the village first, then all of the upgrades on the engineer will be decreased, OK? But the last time I played on this map, I remember I had the village over here, OK? So that's what we're going to do. Once again, we're going to have the balloon trap right about, I don't know, somewhere down here. I guess this spot right here will work. It's not too big of a deal, all right? We're actually leaking lives to these AI balloons. That's kind of awkward, all right? But, you know, we're chilling, okay? Let's use our final Super Ego Boost, okay? He currently has no lead detection either, so I sent him a lead, and we need $3,400 in order to afford this balloon trap, okay? So we should be able to get that after actually selling this off. So let's sell that, go for the balloon trap. Awesome, 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 okay? I'm also gonna go for a Spike Factory right next to this uh, village as well, because I want both towers to be enhanced by the village, okay? He did leak some lives too, maybe to the lead I sent him. I guess so, man. Okay, so, oh wait, is this being affected? Uh, I think it is, okay. I think barely the spike battery is being affected. Oh my God, that was actually really close. I didn't realize how close that was, right? But I'm gonna go for the monkey four. That's gonna increase the piercing on both nearby towers. I'm gonna go for the two, two in the back of the map. I'm playing safe, boys, okay? Cause I don't know what this guy's intentions are. Does he wanna rush me during these mid game rounds? Does he wanna go late game? Honestly, not too sure. Wait, what? wait, 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 guys. I just now realized how many spike boats he built up. Oh my god. How, why? Why does he have so many spike boats? Oh my god. He's literally got five spots and a jug. So technically he has six spike boats. One of them is upgrade to a juggernaut. Oh my god. Was I really being that aggressive? Not really. I was just ecoing. Oh my god. That is actually freaking nuts. Okay, so. 
I guess we'll get to Eagle Win with these pinks. I mean, talk about overkill, guys. That is literally... Wow, he is way overprepared, bro. <laughs> That's a bit excessive, in my opinion, guys. Holy crap. Okay, so I remember a ton of you were commenting, by the way, down in the comments about how I should sell off these sentries so more balloons are collected. And yes, I do agree, all right, but it gets annoying at times, okay, because I have to constantly eco as well with this strategy, okay, so... I'm not honestly too worried about that. Ooh, a lot of camel leads are being sent on this round. Okay, so he knows that this could be affected. So, or affected. Sorry, I can't freaking talk. He freaking knocked out one of my towers. That was just completely rude. Which tower did you knock out? What? Did he knock out? Like, he didn't knock out my spike factory and my engineer is also going off. What? Did he knock out my village? That was a little bit odd. Okay, I thought for sure he knocked out a tower, but I didn't really see anything going on. Okay, so that was really, really odd and weird, but... I'm going to space eco, okay? I want to play this smart here. Do not want to over eco because potentially could send us a mod here on round 19 or a BFB on round 20, okay? So I definitely want to be prepared for that. He He's prepared, by the way. <laughs> like we said, he is 100% prepared. Not for a mob, actually, though. A mob would be kind of hard for him to defend against because he just has way too many spools. He needs more trip darts, you know? But I'm going to collect from this balloon trap there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Dude, he range boosted again? Why? Why did he range boost? Did he Was he close to leaking? I couldn't really tell. Oh no, that is not good. That is not good. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's see what happens here on round 20, okay? I really am expecting to be a V, but I guess I could be wrong. We have $10,000 saved up and we're getting money from our balloon trap left and freaking right, okay? Oh, yep, here comes that BFV. Dude, no freaking way, boys, no freaking way. Okay, so we're gonna stop Stacey going here for a second. And we definitely should be able to afford uh, a spike storm for sure. So, yeah, we're definitely going to be going for that here. Next to our village, by the way, okay, because the uh, upgrades will be decreased, obviously. So, yeah, we'll be able to spike storm this. Hopefully, two times will do the trick. You never, never know, though. Hopefully, my uh, balloon trap can pick up some of these balloons. Oh, my God, he knocked down my tower again. No, no, no. He thought that was going to work. And he is shocked to see. Oh my god, did he even knock out my tower again? Like, literally, he must be knocking out the village. He must be, bro. Because honestly, I don't know what else he's knocking out. The engineer is currently popping balloons, and so is the spike factory. It's producing more spikes in the back of the map, okay? So, I, I guess that's what he's doing, all right. But here, around 22 ceramics. Dude, he, he should be fine, okay? And hopefully, we're going to be fine as well. Ooh, I'm going to... Uh, yeah, I don't know if I actually need to blue storm that. Ooh, you always lose. Oh my god. Dude, he tower boosted that. I, I was a little bit nervous right there. Okay, so what I'm actually gonna do is go for. Oh, dude. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Am I good? Oh my. Oh my. Okay, yes. I need to go for another balloon trap. I literally, that was like almost the worst choke of my life. That would have been so bad. I freaking boosted out of freaking fear, man. Dang, you hate to see it. Okay, but that's fine. That's that's fine. Okay, I'm just gonna go for more balloon traps. We're gonna vibe. We're chilling, okay? Look at how many sentries are produced, man. I wish you could just, like, turn that off and just have the balloon trap there, but unfortunately, you cannot do that, all right? But he went for a BIA, obviously. We could easily send him a Moab, but I, I don't want to kill him, guys. I seriously don't, okay? I want to go late game. I'm not sending him a single balloon. We got a lot more balloon traps here on the map now. He's also consistently sending me pinks, but yeah, we got four balloon traps, so we should not be struggling to this AI. Hopefully not, man, because... Like I said, that was almost the worst choke of my BTD career for sure, all right? But I'm just going to make sure that we have to consistent collect from this. Oh, he's dead. Oh, no! <laughs> he could not even defend against the round 24 ceramics. Okay, so that is going to be a GG. I will catch y'all in the next one. Gareth Mason is going to be our next opponent. Oh, we got the map bound pass. Oh, my God. You know what, boys? You know freaking what? This could actually work. We're not going to be able to go like that late with the strategy, but... It could actually work out on this map. Okay, so we're gonna be trying it. Let's freaking get it. Now, the reason why I say this can work is because the back of the map, uh, no balloons come out of this area. Okay, so we have a spike battery, obviously, in the back of the map, producing a lot of spikes for us. And uh, we should be able to defend against a potential mid game rush. All right, but my first pop and power tower is, in fact, going to be the engineer. And it looks like Mason, we're gonna call this guy Mason, he is going with the Tasher, which happens to be the best early game tower in the game all right but it's not like our engineer is bad all right our engineer is actually a really really good starting tower as well and dude he's gonna be equally no freaking way okay this is not an eco map by the way all right you do not see a lot of people ecoing but uh, i guess we're gonna make it work boys 
We're gonna freaking make it work, all right? We're gonna send these consistent, consistent reds here, and we might have to go for another engineer in order to defend against round four blues, all right? But him, on the other hand, he's gonna be A-OK, -okay, all right? The attack shooter, once again, is a really good early game tower, all right? He only will struggle to round six greens. Oh my god, he already actually went for another attack shooter. Oh, he definitely did not need to do that, all right? But here come these blues. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Okay, so yeah, we probably should play this safe here, and I'm gonna do that, actually. Let's go for zero, zero. <gasps> He's sending me space pinks. That means he might have the salted wounds. Okay, I thought for sure he was about to use that, but no, he does not. We're gonna be using our first super eco boost here at the start of round five. Oh my god, is he running out of money? He can't even send me consistent blues. No way, he is. He's already running out of money, boys. That's not good for him, all right? And mm, he might need to upgrade a tad bit more in order to defend against constant greens here on round six. I mean, I already know for sure that we can't. There's no way we can. <laughs> Literally no way. So I might have to glue storm. I'm going to try not to though. Oh yeah, he stopped equin fully so that he could upgrade his towers. No way, boys. Okay, so I probably should do the same. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna stop equin here for a tad second. We're going to be using our next super eco boost here at the start of round seven. There we go. He's still not equaling. He went for another two, three. All right, that's a bit excessive in my opinion, okay? But he's not equaling. That's kind of scaring me, man. I kind of don't want to start equaling again. <laughs> like, we have 513 eco, still another super eco boost. This map is super, super short. So I guess we're going to call it a day when it comes to our eco. Oh my God. I don't know why. It's just like he stopped equaling, man. I'm feeling some sort of regression here on round eight. Yep, here come these yellows. Okay, so we just got to spam. Oh! Oh, Team Tower stun! No, 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 that's not gonna work against me, buddy. That's not gonna work against me. He's still sending. We're just gonna take these lives. We're gonna take them, boys. Who cares? Who cares? Not me. Holy crap. That, that he was so aggressive right there. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're actually gonna go for a village here, a spike battery right here, okay? And we're gonna need some lead detection, okay? So I went for a 2 2 in the back of the map. I don't know how to feel about that. I really don't because he could be aggressive here. Oh my god, he has no lead detection, bro. Dude, definitely need to send him that then. <laughs> Holy crap. I, I do need to go also for a balloon trap. Okay, so I know this is like all backwards because I went for the spike battery at first, but I, I don't know, man. This is so bad. Should I even be sending him a regen lead here? Not really. Holy crap. Maybe we can afford this balloon trap here on round 13 because I'm pretty positive he's going to be sending me a rush. I actually would not doubt it. And by the way, I never use my final Super Eco Boost. Okay, so let's just use that very quickly. We still do have a Glue Storm to rely off of and also a Damage Boost. Okay, so hopefully we'll be able to defend. We got that up. I'm also going to go for the Monkey Ford here. And we're going to see what happens here on Route 13. All right, nothing out of the ordinary so far. I might send him a tad bit of a Camera Rush. Okay, I'm going to end up Glue Storming that and then also Damage Boosting. Um, okay, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, damage boost that. Oh, he thought. He thought. He freaking thought. No, no, no. And you have no care detection whatsoever. He ends up selling one of those freaking tax shooters in order to afford a wizard. Ends up improved tower boosting. Will that be enough? I kind of want him to send another rush. He's at two lives. Bruh. Oh my goodness. No way, all right? No freaking way. He he's dead to those pinks. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, no, he's not. Okay, he's not dead to those pinks. Well done, well done, all right? He, he's 100% screwed, though. I kind of wanted to send him. Yeah, yeah, send me another rush. Yes, yes, yes. Can you even defend against the AI? Dude, do you understand that my balloon trap can collect those freaking ceramics, bro? <laughs> yes, you love to see it, boys. You love to see a power line bot end up going down. TGs, man. Do not rely on your power combination that much, buddy. I told y'all we could actually make it work on that mount. We still have yet to go late game, though, which is unfortunate. But I'm going to be trying one more time. I will catch y'all in the next one. But he's full on outlining us, I think. Oh my, are we good? Wait, why are we not good? Okay, I went for the spike mines. We're gonna leak a few lives, it looks like. Holy, okay, so I'm gonna try to defend against this, ladies and gentlemen, all right? I'm gonna go for this spike factory in the middle of the map. We're actually gonna tower boost this as well. Okay, please. Okay. Oh no, we're freaking dead. Oh no, okay. I grind 60k keys. It's gonna be our next opponent. We got Frozen River once again, bro. I don't think we should pass up on this opportunity to be on. Oh, he skipped it anyway. All right, boys, whether this works out or not, we're gonna play on this map. Cards, it's not the best map. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, but maybe we can make things work out. Once again, NG, Village, Spike Factory, let's get it. And it looks like I grind 60K keys 
He started off with a Dartling as his first popping power tower, and also on top of that, he anti-stalled, which means he's popping the balloons right as they come out the map, because yeah, he, he knows, he knows we want to go late game, all right, and that's not a bad move. That is not a bad move at all. Use your freaking knowledge to your advantage, young man. I'm going to go for the sentry gun so that we can defend against all the reds that he sent us. And eventually, he's going to have to upgrade to the powerful darts. I think he already did, actually, because he still has yet to go for his first farm. So, yeah, I think it's safe to say that he did, in fact, do that. He could be aggressive here, though, on round four. So, definitely have got to watch out with that. But let's start to send these blues now. Dude, see the dart lane? I don't think it's all that good during the early game rounds, right? Because, dude, he's going to struggle to these constant blues with this 1-0 dart lane or 0-1. I'm not sure what side the upgrade power for darts is, but you guys get the point. He's got the power for darts and he's going to struggle. It, it looks like he's not, but that's because the freaking dart lane, bro, it just makes balloons disappear. Screen lag, BOP. I hate it, man. All right, but let's use our first super eco boost. He used the dual eco boost. Okay, so well, well done. And 100%, He's going to be struggling to constant greens here on round six. There's no doubt about that, all right? So he's going to have to go for another dart lane. But before going for that, he went for that plantation. Okay, so well, well done. He's going dart lane boomer. Guys, 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 you know, whenever someone's going dart lane boomer, they're using a broken power combination. No if, ands, or buts about that. There's literally no if, ands, or buts about it. He's using a broken power combination. I would not doubt it for an absolute second. Okay, so I'm gonna use my next super eco boost there. There we freaking go. I'm gonna stop eco in here, probably like 590 eco, right? I send him a few space blacks just to kind of be annoying because I know that a bionic boomer will struggle a little bit. Maybe, possibly, I'm not too sure, right? But yeah, he's gonna be rushing me on round 13. Best freaking best believe that, bro. I, dude, there's just no way he's not. There's literally no way he's not. We're going to be going then probably for our balloon trap, like up here somewhere, okay? And he's another Dory Caboose, okay? So well done. I'm going to go for our 9 inch nails here, another 9 inch nails here, another one here, and hopefully another one here. But that was a lot of freaking yellows, okay? We're going to tank those few lives because it's not really all that big of a deal. We're chilling, okay? We're absolutely freaking chilling. I'm going to be going for a village as well so that all the upgrades on my balloon trap are going to be decreased. So let's go for the village, I guess, right there, all right? Because I want my spike factory to be in this position right here with this uh, nine inch nails. It's okay. So I'm going to sell all these off here in a second. We still don't have close to the amount of money that we need in order to afford it. So kind of awkward, all right? Pretty awkward, but... We should be able to afford it here now. Okay, there we go for that. I'm gonna be going for a spike factory next to this village, okay, like I said. So right about there should be a decent spot. I'm gonna be going for the 2-2. And dude, oh my God, I just know, I know he has a broken power combination. There's like no if, ands, or buts about it, but also at the same time, he's using the dual eco boost. So maybe not, maybe not, bro. I don't know, man, okay, but I'm gonna send him a camel lead. That's gonna be forcing an upgrade on his side. There he goes for that dual eco boost. Okay, so well, well done. He could potentially send us a rush here. Okay, so definitely have got to watch out for that. So far, it looks like we are good. He went for another plantation. Okay, so maybe I could, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, boys. All right, but most of the time when people go Darling Boomer, dude, like that strategy is not a good strategy for the late game round. So I don't know, man. I don't freaking know. Okay, but I'm going to space eco for the meantime just to be safe. Okay, because we still have 730 eco for round 14. So that's not bad at all, in my opinion. Um, and he actually might though go for a BIA here. Okay, so maybe we should get to eco in with these pinks Oh, actually no, he went for another plantation. Okay, so I don't know if this is the proper move I egoed pretty hard there with a lot of pinks. I uh, could send us camo leads here on round 16 Okay, so definitely have got to watch out for that still though. No signs of aggression He actually went for another 1-0 farm. No freaking way. Okay, so let's get back to eco in then boys Let's get right back to it. I'm gonna sell these sentries too. Keep on forgetting to do that, all right? I'm just too focused on ecoing and whatnot and just a lot of other things, okay? Because I thought for sure he was gonna be sending us a mid-game rush. Like he didn't send us anything, bro. That's actually really, really insane, okay? But we got 1,065 eco. Not so bad. Not so bad at all for a strategy like this. So we probably should stop right around here. 1,100 eco. Not so bad because he could potentially send us a round 18 mob and I want to be able to defend against that obviously okay so I'm gonna be going for the spike ball here there we go for that and I guess we could space eco for a little bit okay because I want to eco a little bit harder uh, before round 20 because on round 20 he could send us a BFB all right but he went for a double republic bro he could easily then go 
for a facility. I don't know what the heck he's doing, all right? But here's this Moab, okay? With the spike ball in the back of the map, we're gonna be able to defend, okay? So awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes, sir. Too freaking easy, boys. Too, too easy. And he's sending us another Moab. Okay, Um, should I go for another spike factory then? Okay, I'll go for another one really quickly. That still should be able to defend that, 100%. Oh, okay, just barely. We ended up leaking what? Oh, we didn't even leak. Let's go. Let's freaking go, boys. Okay, so he's sending us another one? Three Moabs, bro. Holy, okay, so yeah, we're gonna end up leaking a few lives to that, to that, okay? But, oh my God, he sent us three Moabs. Like, that's actually insane. That's really, really insane. I oh, bro. another one? Holy crap, bro. You're freaking nuts, brother. <laughs> you are nuts, okay? We should be able to defend against that fully. There we go. I'm gonna stop equipping, man, because I would not doubt for a second. Yeah, here's Bruh. the BFB. Wow. Oh my goodness, man. This is actually freaking nuts. Okay, so we're gonna let our money stack up a little bit before we actually end up using a spike storm. So yeah, we should be chilling in my opinion. I'm gonna collect from this balloon trap here a few times because there's rainbows within this AI. I'm gonna actually sell this off as well. Use this spike storm. There we go. And we should be able to defend after that. Yes, we did defend. Let's freaking go. I'm actually gonna go for a double balloon trap too, I think. We should probably do that because this AI is only gonna be getting harder and harder. I have a zero zero spike battery right there. Oh, he's sending us another BFB. Okay, so I'll just space eco then for a little bit here. There we go. With this double balloon trap too, we're gonna be able to defend against these ceramics and whatnot within the AI, All right, So that's why I went for that. Uh, but yeah, this is gonna be a pretty easy and solid defend once again. Oh, he's sending us another BFB. Oh, 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 okay, uh, hopefully then, okay, we actually can't afford that, yikes, 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 okay, I think though we're gonna be good, because I sold that off, so that's another one, jeez Louise, oh my god, is he all outing us, oh yeah, he is, he literally is, okay, I think we're good though, yeah, we're good, oh my, no way, no way, no way, oh god, we're actually running out of money, okay, we're good, he team tower stunned us, no, 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 that's not gonna work, no, 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 he has six lives, boys. Let's freaking go, man. <laughs> we didn't even have the damage boost either. That is crazy, boys. Okay, so obviously he's gonna try something else. Try and something up his sleeve. He's two towers on this. Oh, no way. He just ended up surrendering. <laughs> Let's go, boys. That actually worked out so freaking well. Put some respect on the strategy right now. Put some freaking respect on it. That was actually a crazy, crazy defend. We almost, too, didn't defend that. We actually ran out of money right there, all right? So that's why I don't know if I actually did this, but I wanted to sell one of my balloon traps so that I had a little bit more money. But, like, dude, those balloon traps, though, at the same time, they were giving us consistent money right there. Without those, we would not have enough money, all right? So GG's only in the last question that I asked y'all in the last video was. What would you guys rather have in a late game strategy? Stalling or power, all right? And the answer is... Stalling, all right, so this guy won, congratulations, man. And the next question, I'm gonna be asking you guys this. I know I ask these questions a lot, but on a scale of one to 10, how impressive was this strategy, all right? Make sure to leave your answers down below in the comments, and you may have a chance to win a shout out in the next video, which is obviously dope. I hope you boys enjoy it once again. It's been your Bobo Tricks, or Justin. Peace out, everybody.